he's like the people around him. He's you know, from my uh, perspective, you know, he's progressing well. And you know, I talked to him the other day. He was asking me about like the timing in which I did mine, and, you know, how long it took, and all that kind of stuff. So, you know, he's, every time I see him, he's in great spirits. So that's that's a big part of the battle. What's changed the chart the way you guys closed down the stretch? I think they got eight hit threes in the fourth quarter. What changed defensively? I mean, they made shots. Obviously, this is a great. I've been in that locker room, so you know it's a great home team. Um, they do tend to make more shots at home. A uh, couple breakdowns on the defensive end, kind of get them up rhythm early. Got a couple of little warm up, warm up, non contested shots in the first half, and then uh, you know you can't give any NBA, NBA team, NBA player uh, rhythm and second chance opportunities, turnovers. All oh, that played into a factor in that. Do you think the way you guys closed this game, like the last game, there was, that there was some attacks? I know Coach was talking about the mm-hmm. balls, and that you guys got distracted in any way, you know, this week. No, no, we're going to fight. I mean, I don't know if you know my resume or anything, but I get texts too, so. <laughs> I'm not one. No, I didn't get any tonight. I'm not one that's really want to take away somebody's passion for, you know, disagreement, so. Um, Obviously, we can't let it distract us, and it, it can be harmful. You know, the other team is converting free throws and, and other in second possessions and all that kind of stuff. But you know, passion is passion. That's how most of us got to this point. And uh, you know, I don't know. You got to ask the people if they think it's a distraction. Me, I play me. I play mad. I play angry. That's how I got here. That's probably how I'll continue to stay here. Would you, uh, how good was it to get that kind of a reception? Uh, it felt good. Uh, it really did. And I was surprised. Um, Why? I mean, not, not, I mean, not the reception, but like, you know, the tribute. I, I was oh, in yeah, Portland yeah. for five years and didn't get one. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> no, I wasn't a shot. That wasn't a shot. I was just saying, like, I was, that's why I was, I was shocked, you know, but it was, it was, it was great. You know, I appreciate it. I'm grateful for all the, all the people here in Dallas, and fans and staff and, and all my teammates. You know, it was a lot of fun. I just wish that, uh, I just wish they would have lost tonight. Chris, fantastic about your time here. Is there any specific memory or work? I mean, I, I hope not. Um, you know, playoff series. Um, I would say doing work in the community. Um, a lot of highlights of that in your tributes. Right? Yeah, uh, I'd say doing work in the community and Probably, uh, I'll say Dirk's 30th thousand point. You know, that, was, that was a pretty cool moment to be a part of. And, uh, I got a lot of good memories there. Was it weird at all going against Luka? Uh, no. Huh? You said that in practice? Uh, no, we usually don't say anything in practice. No, nothing weird going against Luka. <laughs> Try not to get no flopping files. <laughs> <laughs> so. What was the funniest thing or the best thing that either of you said to each other today? Tonight? Uh, what is, no, no, no. That we can repeat. <laughs> I think you're just talking about my hair. <laughs> <laughs> you, I thought you'd have, it, have something uh, done with it while you were here. No. I did. I got cut. Oh. <laughs> There was a report um, prior to you signing with uh, the Pacers uh, that there was a good chance you might uh, sign with the Sixers. Is this, um, how close were you actually to possibly signing with them as well? Who reported that? Um, the heavy did. I didn't talk to anybody from the Sixers. I mean, they contacted us. But I would say not very. Not very? I mean, you know, it's a great organization, obviously. It was, it was in consideration, but it wasn't like I did it. College visit. recruiting yeah. visit or anything. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was just kind of. Well, Shelburne, you know, be prior to the game, there were eight of ten, you know, wins. I think you always got the win in January, you know, and then in the end of all you came, you know, currently here. But uh, moving forward, what do you think you would, uh, you know, learn from this game with your team and uh, moving forward? Uh, uh, we got, we got, to, we got to win yeah. these games. You know, this is, this is, you know. Gut check time, and you know, two games, this road trip that we let go. Uh, credit, credit them. Uh, but we gotta win. We gotta get these wins. I mean, every every game is, is crucial. Every game is fighting for position. How tough are these turnarounds when you play now? Less than 24 hours. Go back, back. I don't think you're gonna change. <laughs> 
No, no, I'm saying, but even it was, it's like 22 hours. It's not oh. even the full yeah. 24. <laughs> Try not to think about the time zone. I mean, when you when you do all that, that's when you kind of kind of get you know, your, your your mind is your strongest asset. So if you can block all that out and just be like, hey, I got a game tomorrow, I got to rest, get ready to go to work. You don't want to think about it too much. At least I don't. Appreciate it. Thanks, 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 Thanks. Thanks.